Hi Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see um, why isn't this union manifesting, okay? So what's getting in the way of this connection? What are some of the blockages that are preventing this connection from flourishing, manifesting in the way that it should? It's going to be a general reading. Please be mindful of that. If you're after a personal reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is listed below the video. heavy energy here guys it feels like there are some toxicities <clears throat> some insecurities here that pose a danger or a threat to this connection okay i i feel like this is someone who has has it in for you badly. I feel like this is someone who feels very consumed, very addicted, very intoxicated, <clears throat> very drawn to you. Okay, so much so that I feel like they don't know how to pull away. Um, I don't know if some of this. <clears throat> it's interesting that you've got the devil and you've got the lovers card here. See, the lovers card, you know, it's an energy of love, but the devil, he doesn't do love. He he does lust. So. Maybe what the cards are hinting at, that this is a type of a connection that began out very intense, right? You guys share some very intense lingering stares with one another. Um, you know, the, the feeling is the chemistry. It's electrifying. It, it's very sexual. It's very passionate. It's very intense here. Um, it could be that you guys are very heavily infatuated with each other and how you make each other feel. It could also be that this isn't necessarily love. It is a connection that is essentially at the core of it. It's infatuation. Okay, so I'm, t I'm talking about some real deep, intense infatuation. But it's infatuation that disguises itself as love. Um, because what I see is, yes, this person has feelings for you. And yes, it could be love or they could be in the process of falling in love with you. Or, you know, developing and catching some real strong feelings for you here. But it feels like somewhere along the way, you guys have learned, have stopped. Or maybe you've never learned to express your emotions or to express the emotional intensity of this connection in a healthy way. And you kind of become very co-reliant and codependent on each other. So much so that you've become very possessive and you've become very jealous of one another, okay? And you're no longer, and yes, this is a relationship or a connection, but you, you're no longer your own, you know, your unique individual. You've lost that sense of freedom and that individuality because you guys are both like a slave to your innermost raw desires. You're both like slaves to this intoxication here, right? So very consuming. This is why I feel like the... You know, it's fine to be so heavily infatuated with one another, but you need to find a way to express those emotions in a healthy way. Because if love is, you know, if those emotions of love or even lust aren't expressed in a healthy way, they can, you know, it, they can really read its ugly head here. And this is what's happening. I think there is some toxicities about this connection that are sort of hindering this union from manifesting. Yes, you guys are so overwhelmed with the emotions you have one for one another so much so that you don't know how to express them and you don't know what to do with it um it could also be i'm getting a strong notion of you know this being a third party situation or a love affair and you know what's preventing this connection from growing is that this isn't you know this person is they aren't giving their energy they're all to this connection okay because there's someone else Three feels a little bit crowded. It feels like it's a bit of a lover's triangle. There's a lack of balance. There's a lack of equilibrium. How can something grow if you don't nurture it or if you don't, you know, tend to it? You know, so they're not allowing the space for this connection or this union to blossom here. Um, it doesn't feel healthy because it feels like there's 
a lot of layers and it feels like there's a lot of complexities and it feels like there's a bit of a web someone is weaving a tangled web and someone is also being caught in this web like a prey being caught in the in the web of lies here um, it could be that this person is married or is seeing someone else and they're telling you that they're going to leave this person for you but it feels like they're only spinning a web of lies to appease you to sort of avoid any emotional confrontation be careful because something about it feels like it's draining you not only of your physical energy but your emotional and mental energy as well um, it could be that this person is they're very you know codependent on to some toxic substance or they have addictions here and at the end of the day even if this person has very strong feelings for you even if they love you they're so consumed I'm getting that this person is so consumed by addictions here that they end up choosing their addictions here over you, over love. You know, and obviously their substance use or, you know, the misuse of alcohol, drugs or, you know, whatever other substance they may be using here has obviously a very damaging impact on them, on you and on this connection. And, you know, it's what's preventing this from, from growing because this it leads for them the fact that they're misusing here the substance is leading them to depend on the substance to cope with life or just in certain situations here i'm also seeing that they're trying to they could have some emotional wounds some insecurities they could have some emotional trauma in their energy okay some pain some hurt that they've never dealt with that they've never addressed and what they're doing is in order to you know reduce the emotional or the physical pain here they're trying to get away from the problems by trying to you know um drown out these problems okay so it feels like they're trying to withdraw from a, a pain or emotional trauma by trying to lean in towards this addiction okay and it may be because it's making them feel it's making it's reducing their physical or emotional pain here i'm also seeing i just feel like there's something about this connection as well where you know it, it feels like loving someone can become an addiction because people in love often experience euphoria, cravings, dependency, withdrawal, and a lot of other emotions that are associated with addiction. And this is why it feels like there's something, it feels like it's complex. Either the, the situation, the connection is very complicated, okay? The fact that, you know, that there's a, this is a love affair, um, this is, uh, you know, a, th a third party situation here, um, the fact that maybe an ex is still very much present in the life and is hindering this connection or that they may have wounds or emotional trauma that is preventing the growth of this connection here i also feel like they're a part of you may be romanticizing or maybe the both of you are romanticizing each other and romanticizing what you have it just feels like you know you're looking at the situation and you might be falling in love with the potential of who this person is or the potential of what this relationship could be rather than what it actually is in a reality here. Also, I feel like this person has had some... They've had a closing of a chapter here, whether it's they've closed the doors of a relationship on a marriage or a connection or a career, and this person hasn't necessarily dealt with that, okay? The closing of a chapter. Maybe this is why they're, you know, they're trying to survive here. They're learning how to deal with the reality by le by surviving and leaning into this addiction here. Okay, it just feels like try and... I feel like there is potential in this connection for much more healthier results to be produced. But it feels like maintaining appropriate boundaries is very important. And it feels like this person needs to explore the reasons why they're holding on to their addictions or why they're holding on to some of these toxicities. Because, you know, yes, you know, this person is addicted. 
but they need to go deeper because they can't just you can't just treat the symptoms you need to treat the root the other thing is you need to know if you are experiencing someone who has addictions you know the only person that has control over this is them you can be all the support that you want but you do not have control over anything the addicted person does you don't and many many people choose not to believe this but that doesn't make it any less true so once you really grasp the concept of this i think this will help you this will uh, help your perspective or will help you help this connection become a little bit easier because it's like this person has to realize you know they have to cultivate their own wisdom here and they have to stop blaming external forces or other things here It's their responsi responsibility to recognize their addictions, their toxicities, or, you know, how this is affecting in a toxic, negative way, this relationship here. Because they have to understand, okay, and this is this is their behavioral and emotional patterns here. It, it's, it's unhealthy, and it's producing damaging effects on the relationship, on the connection here, okay? And it's preventing them from moving forward with their lives. And they have to understand why they choose to behave in a healthy ways. That's the key to making a change here. Becoming courageous enough to look at yourself and confront your truth here. Okay? And some of you, I'm getting that you need to learn the difference between helping and enabling. Because you... I think a lot of you are trying to help this person by maybe allowing them to stay in your home or by giving them money here. But that is behavior that enables their addiction here okay it's unhealthy it, it's unhealthy helping which can be labeled and which is labeled enabling here so you can be as truthful as possible you need to be as truthful as possible with yourself as well okay and don't give in to manipulation as well i think you need to The more you allow yourself to be manipulated by this person and their energy, the more likely they are to become manipulative with you and everyone else in the future. So be careful here. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Bye.